In my last video, I tried to explain why I think a quarter weight vertical is the best beginner's DX antenna to build. Um, I posted it, it kind of, other people started sharing it in social media and everyone wanted to, uh, you know, this antenna is better, that antenna is better. This wasn't about what was the best antenna for DX. It was the best first or beginner's antenna. The thing about the quarter wave vertical is you're going to learn about takeoff angle. You're going to learn about RF ground, you know, the ground plane below you. There's so much to learn as a beginner to start with. It's the best. It's a starting point. And it is a good DX antenna. I don't care what anybody says. This thing got shared through social media and it's just gone out of control. So I mean, I've gotten every comment and, and everyone's this antenna is better. You need radiate. You need elevated radials the j-pole on and on and on and of course the typical dumbass you know it radiates poor in all direction comments they're there so today i want to if we want to go down that route let's go down let, let's build upon it you know for the new ham that wants to build dx remember we're talking dx here we're not talking about going out and act activating poda we're talking about dx and the best thing to do for dx and you're trying to reach a long distance is beam forming and forming a beam and what's the easiest way to get started in beam forming there's no easier way than just with wire and a ballon so i got two antennas that i've recently built where we formed a beam with wire Wire and made some pretty amazing DX contacts. The first one is the half square antenna. The half square antenna I built, I built it for 20 meters. This thing was amazing and it's real simple. If you remember the questions, I believe it's in the general exam. Um, if you're a US ham, the questions about having two quarter wave verticals spread uh, a half a wavelength apart, it creates a beam broadside of the two. Um, so that's what you're doing. You're putting two quarter waves up. The thing is what you're doing with a half square is feeding it up in the upper upper point, making it a current fed antenna. It uses the half of a quarter wavelength of wire below the feed point uh, as one of the quarter wave radiators. And then if you spread the wire across a half of a wavelength and then fold it down to where it forms a second quarter wave that half wave horizontal wire is acting as a phasing wire and uh, and you're having a second quarter wave that's a, a phase so you're literally looking at two phase quarter wave wires and this thing is amazing i tell you uh i built this thing not really out on the beach uh at a park and one of the greatest, I mean, just most amazing contacts I've ever made was I was with 20 me on the 20 meter band. I was just beaming into and getting like solids, you know, uh, five, seven, five, eight, even some five, nine reports. I was using hundred watts, but talking to Australia and I heard a ZS call in there. And when I went back to the ZS call, um, I was blown away. He was aiming long path around to Australia. So coming to me, one of the best contacts I've ever made um, was strictly that, a, a two wires formed into a beam, the half square antenna. I had a long path contact from Virginia in the USA to South Africa. So that was pretty, pretty cool antenna. And uh, it's very easy to make. I've got a video on that antenna. I'll put a link below if you're interested in building the half square antenna. Taking that even further, and another, I, I think it's a very similar antenna, but you want to get more directional gain broadside. That is the bobtail curtain antenna, the bobtail curtain. So what do we do there? You're basically mirroring that half square. So if you're feeding it, the, the half square, you're, you're feeding it, you got a quarter wave, you got a half wave, you got another quarter wave. Add that wire again to the other side. So now you have two these are three quarter wavelength wires, but it's half wavelength folded down to a quarter. And then the one dangling in the middle is a quarter wave. Two, so three wires, the two at the top are connected together and they're on the negative side of a balance. It could be either side. I do negative side of the one to one balance, the bottom quarter wave wire hanging off the positive side. Now we have a three element beam that's giving you even greater, greater, uh, you know, 
what are we what i'm trying to say here take off take off a greater gain that's the word i'm looking for i'm in the senior moment there greater gain broadside of it as well now this antenna i made for the 10 meter band on the beach and as i sat on the beach uh with this thing uh not once again 100 watts um i was talking into europe i was aimed in that direction from the beach in virginia uh talking into europe uh like these people were next door to me um uh, just unbelievable and, and really great thing and what an easy antenna to build if you just got three poles you're gonna that's the thing about this people talk about the price of a beam or the price of an antenna you can go out and get three seven meter or you can buy them in a four pack even and very affordable and you can use these like dx commander uh poles i'll put matter of fact i'll go look for it i'll put a link below to where you can get uh these dx commander poles but i've got a collection of them because you can go out and really start beam forming with wire is what i'm saying so with um three dx commander poles i built the just amazing bobtail curtain antenna and um and just just blew me away DX wise. I think this is a good on ramp to more advanced DX antennas built with wire for newer hams. These are two antennas. I'll put a link to this, the video to this bobtail as well below, but these are two great antennas to get started with when you're beam forming and you're trying to work DX stations. So I know a lot of people, there's no need to do it. You don't have to tell me what another antenna that's better than these. This isn't a contest. This is a learning and we use every antenna. I'm going from simply beginning and starting out with a quarter wave vertical. And then we start using wire to form a beam and make your signal go in a direction. That's all this video is about. It's not a competition stop. So that's what I wanted I wanted to talk about. I kind of wanted to give a rebuttal on all the nonsense that's going on with the last video. I wasn't saying it was the best overall antenna if you think it was clickbait no it wasn't it was I, if you read read and said the best for beginners of course new dx antenna also that's another key it's a dx antenna i'm a dxer i do a little poto but i don't do a lot this isn't these antennas i'm talking about aren't for your go to the park and work everywhere around you this is trying to beam your signal in a certain direction so there you go. Two antennas I think you should give a try. They're great antennas. And I have, if you watch my videos on both of these, you'll you'll just see how with just a one-to-one -one balance and some wire and some poles, you could build a beam, a very simple beam. You know, you, you, people are going to say, well, why don't you just use verticals and phase them or whatever. That's a lot of work. I've done that as well. And it's an amazing antenna if you have a phase verticals or co-phase verticals, what have you. But if you just got one piece of coax, one balance, three poles or two poles and some wire here's a way you can build your first beam and really learn about beam forming and dx antennas and how to make some really great context there as well anyway that's it that's my rant for the day boy i've been ranting a lot lately i guess um it's winter i'm stuck inside i'm trying to get out as much as i can but um i just i get i get you know wrapped up in this passion i have of uh of dxing and antennas and ham radio and if you're into that you have that same passion um you can get salty with me by subscribing anyway guys till next time i walk k4 ogo stay salty my friends